Berber Languages, Wikipedia Article Audio The Berber Languages, also known as Berber or the Amazigh Languages, are a branch of the Afroasiatic language family. They comprise a group of closely related dialects spoken by the Berbers, who are indigenous to North Africa. The languages were traditionally written with the ancient libico berber script, which now exists in the form of Tifanek. Berber is spoken by large populations of Morocco, Algeria, Libya, and by smaller populations of Tunisia, Northern Mali, Western and Northern Niger, Northern Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and in the Siwa oasis of Egypt. Large Berber-speaking migrant communities, today numbering about 4 million, have been living in Western Europe, spanning over three generations, since the 1950s. The number of Berber people is much higher than the number of Berber speakers. The bulk of the populations of the Maghreb countries are considered to have Berber ancestors. Terminology Origin Around 90% of the Berber-speaking population speak one of seven major varieties of Berber, each with at least two million speakers. They are, in order of number of speakers, Shila, Kabyle, Central Atlas Timazite, Rifian, Shaiya and Tuareg. The extinct Guanche language spoken on the Canary Islands by the Guanches, as well as the languages of the ancient sea group culture in present-day southern Egypt and northern Sudan, are believed to have belonged to the Berber branch of the Afroasiatic family. The Berber languages and dialects have had a written tradition, on and off, for about 2,500 years, although the tradition has been frequently disrupted by cultural shifts and invasions. They were first written in the libico berber Abjad, which is still used today by the Tuareg in the form of Tifanak. The oldest dated inscription is from 3rd century BCE. Later, between about 1000 CE and 1500 CE, they were written in the Arabic script, and since the 20th century they have been written in the Berber Latin alphabet especially among the Kabyle and Rifian communities of Morocco and Algeria. The Berber Latin alphabet was also used by most European and Berber linguists during the 19th and 20th centuries. A modernized form of the Tifanac alphabet, called neo tifanac was adopted in Morocco in 2003 for writing Berber, but many Moroccan Berber publications still use the Berber Latin alphabet. Algerians mostly use the Berber Latin alphabet in Berber language education at public schools, while Tifanac is mostly used for artistic symbolism. Mali and Niger recognize a Tuareg Berber Latin alphabet customized to the Tuareg phonological system. However, Traditional Tifanac is still used in those countries. There is a cultural and political movement among speakers of the closely related varieties of northern Berber to promote and unify them under a written standard language called Tamazi Pound T. The name Tamazi Pound T is the current native name of the Berber language in the Moroccan Middle Atlas region, the Rif regions and the Libyan Zuera region. In other Berber-speaking areas this name was lost. There is historical evidence from medieval Berber manuscripts that all indigenous North Africans from Libya to Morocco have at some point called their language Tamazi Pound T. The name Tamazi Pound T is currently being used increasingly by educated Berbers to refer to the written Berber language, and even to Berber as a whole, including Tuareg. In 2001, Berber became a constitutional national language of Algeria, and in 2011 Berber became a constitutionally official language of Morocco. In 2016 Berber became a constitutionally official language of Algeria, after years of persecution. Orthography 
The term Berber has been used in Europe since at least the 17th century, and is still used today. It was borrowed from Latin Barbary. The Latin word is also found in the Arabic designation for these populations, U plus or minus plus or minus, see names of the Berber people. Etymologically, the Berber root mzae means free man, noble man, or defender. The feminine Tamazite traditionally referred specifically to the Rifian and Central Atlas Tamazite languages. Many Berber linguists prefer to consider the term Tamazite as a pure Berber word to be used only in Berber text while using the European word Berber slash Berbero slash Berbari in European texts to follow the traditions of European writings about the Berbers. European languages distinguish between the words Berber and Barbarian, while Arabic has the same word Al-Barbari for both meanings. Phonology some other Berber writers, especially in Morocco, prefer to refer to Berber with a Mazai when writing about it in French or English. Traditionally, the term to Mazite was used by many Berber groups to refer to the language they spoke, including the Middle Atlas, the Rifians, the Sainate in Tunisia and the Tuareg. However, other terms were used by other groups, for instance, some Berber populations of Algeria called their language Taznadi or Shalha, while the Kabyles called theirs Takbalat, and the inhabitants of the Siwa oasis called their language Siwi. In Tunisia, the local Amazigh language is usually referred to as Shalha, a term which has been observed in Morocco as well. One group, the Linguosphere Observatory, has attempted to introduce the neologism to Mazic languages to refer to the Berber languages. Vowels Berber is a branch of the Afro-Asiatic language family. Since modern Berber languages are relatively homogeneous, the date of the Proto-Berber language from which the modern group is derived was probably comparatively recent, comparable to the age of the Germanic or Romance subfamilies. In contrast, the split of the group from the other Afro-Asiatic subphyla is much earlier, and is therefore sometimes associated with the local Mesolithic Capsian culture. A number of extinct populations are believed to have spoken Afro-Asiatic languages of the Berber branch. According to Peter Behrens and Marianne Bachas Gerst, Linguistic evidence suggests that the peoples of the C group culture in present-day southern Egypt and northern Sudan spoke Berber languages. The Nilo-Saharan Nubian language today contains a number of key pastoralism-related loanwords that are of Berber origin, including the terms for sheep and water slash Nile. This in turn suggests that the C group population A Euro which, along with the Kerma culture, inhabited the Nile Valley immediately before the arrival of the first Nubian speakers a Euro spoke Afro-Asiatic languages. Consonants Various orthographies have been used to transcribe the Berber languages. In antiquity, the Libico-Berber script was utilized to write Berber. Early uses of the script have been found on rock art and in various sepulchres. Among these are the 1,500-year-old monumental tomb of the Tuareg matriarch Tin Hainan, where vestiges of a Tufanak inscription have been found on one of its walls. Status Following the spread of Islam, some Berber scholars also utilized the Arabic script. There are now three writing systems in use for Berber languages, Tufanak, the Arabic script and the Berber Latin alphabet. After independence, all the Maghreb countries to varying degrees pursued a policy of Arabization, aimed partly at displacing French from its colonial position as the dominant language of education and literacy. Under this policy the use of the Amazigh-Berber languages was suppressed or even banned. 
This state of affairs has been contested by Berbers in Morocco and Algeria a euro especially Kabylie a euro and was addressed in both countries by introducing the Berber language in some schools and by recognizing Berber as a national language in Algeria, though not as an official one. Population the 2011 Constitution of Morocco makes a Mazai an official language alongside Arabic. Morocco is a country with several competing linguistically different languages, including French, Modern Standard Arabic, Moroccan Arabic, and a Mazai. As the higher status of Modern Standard Arabic grew, so did the relation between the male population and the language as well as the female population and the lower status language Amazai. Women became the main carriers of the Amazai language as the lower status language in the country. In Mali and Niger, there are a few schools that teach partially in Tuareg languages. Although regional councils in Libya's Nafusa Mountains affiliated with the National Transitional Council reportedly use the Berber language of Nafusi and have called for it to be granted CO official status with Arabic in a prospective new constitution, Algeria and Morocco are the only countries where Tamazite is an official language. As areas of Libya south and west of Tripoli such as the Nafusa Mountains were taken from the control of Gaddafi government forces in early summer 2011, Berber workshops and exhibitions sprang up to share and spread the Tamazite culture and language. On June 17, 2011 King Mohammed VI announced in a speech of new constitutional reform that Tamazite became an official language of Morocco alongside Arabic and will be used in all the administrations in the future. On April 30, 2012 Fatima Chaha, alias Tabamrant, member of the Moroccan House of Representatives and former singer became the first person to ask questions and discuss the minister's answer in Tamazite inside the Parliament of Morocco. Grammar On February 7, 2016 the Algerian Parliament recognized Berber languages as having official status along with Arabic. Nouns the exact population of Berber speakers is hard to ascertain, since most North African countries do not record language data in their censuses. Ethnologue provides a useful academic starting point, however, its bibliographic references are very inadequate, and it rates its own accuracy at only BC for the area. Early colonial censuses may provide better documented figures for some countries, however, these are also very much out of date. Algeria, in 1906, the total population speaking Berber languages in Algeria was estimated at 1,305,730 out of 4,447,149 i.e. 29%, Kabyle and Shaiya languages in the central eastern part of Algeria, the 1911 census, however, found 1,084,702 speakers out of 4,740,526, i.e. 23%. Douda Copyright and Gautier suggest that this was the result of a serious undercounting of Shaiya in areas of widespread bilingualism. A trend was noted for Berber groups surrounded by Arabic to adopt Arabic, while Arabic speakers surrounded by Berber tended to adopt Berber. In 1952, Andra Copyright Bassett estimated that about a third of Algeria's population spoke Berber. According to historian Charles Robert Adjuran in 1886, Algeria had around 1.2 million Berber speakers and 1.1 million Arab speakers. The Algerian census of 1966 found 2,297,997 out of 12,096,347 Algerians, or 19%. 
to speak Berber. In 1980, Salem Shakir estimated that in Algeria, 3,650,000, or one out of five Algerians, speak a Berber language. According to Ethnologue, more recent estimates include 14% and 29%. Most of these are accounted for by three languages. A survey included in the official Moroccan census of 2004 and published by several Moroccan newspapers gave the following figures, 34% of people in rural regions spoke a Berber language and 21% in urban zones did, the national average would be 28.4% or 8.52 million. It is possible, however that the survey asked for the language used in daily life, which would result in figures lower than those of native speakers, as the language is not recognized for official purposes and many Berbers who live in an Arabic-speaking environment cannot use it in daily life. Also, the use of Berber in public was frowned upon until the 1990s, which may have affected the result of the survey. Adding up the population of the Berber-speaking regions as shown on a 1973 map from the CIA results in at least 10 million speakers, not counting the numerous Berber population which lives outside these regions in the bigger cities. Tunisia, Bassett estimated about 1%, as did Pankern. According to Ethnologue, there are only 26,000 speakers of a Berber language it calls Jerbi, but which Tunisians call Shalha, in Tunisia, all in the south around Jerba and Matmata. The more northerly enclave of Sainade no longer speaks Berber. This would make 0.3% of the population. Shanini is also one of the rare remaining Berber-speaking villages in Tunisia, Libya. According to Ethnologue the non-Arabic speaking population, most of which would be Berber, is estimated at 4%. However, the individual language figures it gives add up to 162,000, i.e. about 3%. This is mostly accounted for by the languages, Nafuzi in the Nafusa Mountains and Zawara Berber in the city of Zawara in the Tripolitania region. 184,000, Tahagart language of the Tuareg branch of the town of Ghat, 17,000. Moroccan linguist Mohamed Chafik claims that 80% of Moroccans are Berbers. It is not clear, however, whether he means speakers of Berber languages or people of Berber descent. Pronouns Subclassification Kosman Ethnologue The division of Moroccan Berber languages into three groups, as used by Ethnologue, is common in linguistic publications, but is significantly complicated by the presence of local differences. Shala is subdivided into Shala of the Dra River Valley, Tashasit, and several other mountain languages. Moreover, linguistic boundaries are blurred, such that certain languages cannot accurately be described as either Central Morocco Tamazite or Shala. Eastern Berber, Northern Berber, Zanati, Kabyle, Atlas. Other Berber languages spoken in Algeria include the Tamazite of Blida the languages of the Beni Snus and Beni Boussed villages in the province of Tlemcen, the Matmata Berber spoken in the Warsnes region, the Mozabite language spoken in the region of the province of Mzab and the language of the Wargla Oasis. Thus, the total number of speakers of Berber languages in the Maghreb proper appears to lie anywhere between 16 and 25 million, depending on which estimate is accepted. If we take Bassett's estimate, it could be as high as 30 million. The vast majority are concentrated in Morocco and Algeria. The Tuareg of the Sahel adds another million or so to the total. 
Nouns in the Berber languages vary in gender, number, and state. In the case of the masculine, nouns generally begin with one of the three vowels of Berber, a, u or i inserted for reasons of pronunciation. Northern Berber and Tuareg While the masculine is unmarked, the feminine is marked with the circumfix t, t. Feminine plural takes a prefix t. Berber languages have two types of number, singular and plural, of which only the latter is marked. Plural has three forms according to the type of nouns. The first, regular type is known as the external plural, it consists in changing the initial vowel of the noun, and adding a suffix n. The second form of the plural is known as the broken plural. It involves only a change in the vowels of the word. Blanche The third type of plural is a mixed form, it combines a change of vowels with the suffix n. Berber languages also have two types of states or cases of the noun, organized ergatively, one is unmarked while the other serves for the subject of a transitive verb and the object of a preposition, among other contexts. The former is often called free state, the latter construct state. The construct state of the noun derives from the free state through one of the following rules, the first involves a vowel alternation, whereby the vowel a becomes u. The second involves the loss of the initial vowel in the case of some feminine nouns. Influence on other languages Extinct languages Examples of basic Berber words The third involves the addition of a semi-vowel word initially. Finally, some nouns do not change for free state. The following table gives the forms for the noun Omgar old man slash leader. Berber pronouns show gender distinction in the second and third persons, but in verbal agreement markers, the distinction is lost in the second person. A listing of the other Berber languages is complicated by their closeness, there is little distinction between language and dialect. The primary difficulty of sub-classification, however, lies in the Eastern Berber languages where there is little agreement. Otherwise there is consensus on the outlines of the family. Numbers The various classifications differ primarily in what they consider to be Eastern Berber, and in how many varieties they recognize as distinct languages. There is so little data available on Guanche that any classification is necessarily uncertain, however. It is almost universally acknowledged as Afroasiatic on the basis of the surviving glosses, and widely suspected to be Berber. Much the same can be said of the language, sometimes called Numidian, used in the Libyan or Libyco Berber inscriptions around the turn of the Common Era, whose alphabet is the ancestor of Tefanek. Martin Kosman describes Berber as two dialect continua plus a few peripheral languages, spoken in isolated pockets largely surrounded by Arabic, that fall outside these continua, namely. Within northern Berber, however, he recognizes a break in the continuum between Zanati and their non-Zanati neighbors, and in the east, he recognizes a division between Gadama S and Ajala on the one hand and Sakna, Siwa, and Jabal Nafusa on the other. The implied tree is Ethnologue, mostly following Eichenwald and Militarev, treats the eastern varieties differently. Blench has the following classification. And within Berber. The Berber languages have influenced Maghrebi Arabic languages, such as Moroccan, Algerian and Tunisian Arabic. Their influence is also seen in some languages in West Africa. 
F.W.H. Mijiad pointed to strong resemblances between Berber and Hausa in such words and phrases as these, Berber, Obanese, Hausa Abansa, Berber, Abat, Hausa Yabata, Berber, Eghar, Hausa Yakura. In addition he notes that the genitive in both languages is formed with n equals of. A number of extinct populations are believed to have spoken Afro-Asiatic languages of the Berber branch. According to Peter Behrens and Marianne Bachas Gerst, linguistic evidence suggests that the peoples of the C group culture in present-day southern Egypt and northern Sudan spoke Berber languages. The Nilo-Saharan Nubian language today contains a number of key pastoralism-related loanwords that are of Berber origin, including the terms for sheep and water slash Nile. This in turn suggests that the C group population A Euro which, along with the Kerma culture, inhabited the Nile Valley immediately before the arrival of the first Nubian speakers A Euro spoke Afro-Asiatic languages. Days of the week. Additionally, historical linguistics indicate that the Guanche language, which was spoken on the Canary Islands by the ancient Guanches, likely belonged to the Berber branch of the Afro Asiatic family. The Berber letter C is pronounced. Notes The Berber letter X is pronounced. The Berber letter E pound is pronounced. Zanaga and, the Libyan and Egyptian varieties. Nafuzi A Euro Sui, Gadama S A Euro Ajala, Northern Berber, Zanati, Kabyle and Atlas. Guanche, Eastern Berber, Siwa, Eastern Berber. Guanche A Euro, East Numidian A Euro, Berber. Eastern Berber languages, Siwa, Ajala, Sakna, Gadamese.